Hello, Wargaming Enthusiasts, and welcome back. Let's replay the most recent turn and see what happened. Um, so our troops are moving up, which I feel I'm saying a lot this uh, playthrough. Our mortars are still firing over there, which is great. I have a very strong feeling that there was something there to uh, shoot at, just because that, that's the sort of position um, you'd expect the enemies the enemy to put some stuff in. And we can hear our plane coming in. I wonder if I could figure out by sound where the AA fire coming from. I think it's coming from here, which is not great. Alright, and the uh, cratering seems to be over here, which probably means... Oh, there's another crater there. Alright. Well, the airplane... Uh, He's definitely having fun with those bombs, I just wish he'd do something, but then again, he might have done something tremendous there, but uh, I just don't see it. I just don't know. I have no idea what's in there. I have zero idea what's in those uh, woods over there. Maybe he got some infantry or something like that. Maybe. Um, Alright. And it's uh, 21 minutes left on the clock. Which isn't a lot, but we are getting quite a long way into the forest now, and uh, we should be fine if we hurry it up a little bit. Um, Alright, so you guys are moving, you guys are moving, great, great. And you guys are moving, okay. So everyone's slightly moving up. You guys are not allowed to move up significantly, mostly because of the uh, enemy forces there. I also uh, noticed, or rather, uh, my opponent and I were actually talking at uh, the proverbial water cooler, and he mentioned that you can have your troops picking up enemy weaponry, and I wonder how that works. And I was kind of curious, but it would appear we can't acquire here, so I guess we can't pick up uh, the enemy small arms. But if he had like a... Uh, uh, like an... Uh, not an assault gun, like a, like a gun somewhere, like a... Oh, you know, a field gun, an AT gun, or something like that just a stationary one, we could try and take it over, or if he had a half-track or something, we could try and take over that. Um, and uh, just use it for our own nefarious purposes. Okay, so you got here, and you're not deployed yet. Um, so let's quickly move you here, so you can start taking up position. And you guys are still ready, so we will move you up over here. And you, instead of going there, we'll move up here. And you, instead of moving there, we will move up um, here. So that we can start figuring out this uh, movement through this wood here. Um, we have to watch our flank while in this wood, so we probably should go uh, to the left, but I don't want to get too close to our mortar fire. Um, that's going to uh, occur over here, I think. And um, the ISU will be a little bit back in reserve, definitely. Just uh, making sure that if we encounter any enemy resistance, uh, well, we can take care of that. The company HQ is here. I am quite interested in getting the company HQ further still. They are still not tired. And they don't have movement orders. Let's move them up here. And let's try moving them up here. Uh, so I'm interested in getting them to the edge of the to the other edge of the wood as soon as possible so that I can lay down some artillery fire on this uh, on the uh, objectives. Uh, in particular, I think the ridge of the well, I'm expecting enemy resistance uh, on the sort of far end of this forest here. But I'm most expecting enemy resistance in this spot here, in those woods, and basically all along these woods here. 
So I think since we have not encountered the enemy on this line of defense, I think he will be well back uh, defending just the objectives very strictly. Which might mean that he doesn't have a lot of forces to work with, which is which would be good. But on the other hand, uh, well, it means that we basically waste a lot of time assaulting empty positions and uh, the real battle will only begin uh, in a bit. Nevertheless, let's try moving up these snipers here. I might be interested in moving up this infantry squad later on, but uh, they really can't do anything. Not, I mean, uh, infantry platoon, but they really can't do anything productive. And uh, if I move them, I might uh, lose some important spotting ability over here. Um, kind of wondering where this ICU has line of sight to. It doesn't really have line of sight to anything very much, as far as I can tell. But, um, yeah. And I also think the enemy more or less knows now that I'm moving up there. It might be a good idea to move these guys up. And uh, if we encounter enemy resistance, we might withdraw. How about that? We've got some fairly adept units here. Um, you guys are not doing anything else, and you're arrested. Okay, yeah. So how about we do that? I move these guys up here. And their only mission is scouting, really. So they're supposed to move up there. They're supposed to check out the... Uh, whether enemy will respond with fire and if they do we have to withdraw and if they don't uh, we might withdraw nevertheless how about that I'll move these guys up here for the same reason so we'll have two infantry squads in there and we'll have the command squad back here um, and they'll be sitting here and observing but the question is what are they actually observing and the answer to that rather um, annoying, no annoying, rather uh, naive question is nothing at all because they're behind a hill. So how about we move you up here so that you can maybe figure out something else over there. And uh, that means we lack uh, some very basic spotting ability to this direction, however we have that artillery spotter, who does see quite a long way in here. Um, so that might be okay still. Um, I'm tempted to move the mortars there to for, and, and allow them to spot, but that's probably a bad idea. We have this gun deployed here, and they can provide some supporting fire, but nowhere really that is interesting to us at the moment. So I guess what we'll do is we'll start moving them up as well. Um, I wonder if they could... no. I was wondering if they could uh, move on top of an ISU and then go like that. Um, just tank right their way. But apparently not. Which, you know, it's a heavy machine gun. So it just makes sense. Can we use this truck for spotting actually? Could we maybe move it here on double and sort of try peeking out? To figure out where the enemy might be. Uh, since to be honest, we don't really need those trucks. They don't really have the ammunition we need. 50 millimeter HE ammo. Nope. 14.5, I figured out as the Dushki ammo, which is API, so armor piercing incendiary, so it's anti aircraft ammunition. And we've got uh, 4,000 rounds of, uh, more than 4,000 rounds of rifle ammunition, which we probably also won't need, to be honest. We definitely won't need all of 8,000 of it. So if one truck dies and the other survives, I'm fine with that, but I do need some more scouting ability. So, sorry guys, uh, we are going to be relegated to a scouting role, for now. 
Um, if I could dismount you, I would, but I don't think I can. Yeah, nope. But you will do that. Anyways. So that's pretty much our turn. A little bit of moving up. Our infantry here is hunting ahead. Our infantry here is staying behind because we are expecting mortar fire. I... Um, I ordered here on a uh, mission and should be getting there very soon and it's not and it's worrying me a little bit. It, it, that should have been two minutes and I think it's been like three or four. Um, and they're still spotting so what the hell guys, get your shit back together mates. Anyway, <clears throat> that's my turn. Uh, see you guys next time where we might encounter the enemy forces or we might not. Bye.